Right, oh, tally ho, now for the first time, I'm not ordering the Pixel. I am definitely not ordering this Pixel. Actually, I did order it, now I cancelled it. Let me tell you why. So you want to upgrade that Windows Home to Windows Pro? Or just get killer prices on Windows Office 2016 and cheap gaming keys? Head on down to 09. Make sure you copy and paste my code from the description to get a price that's going to make you go woo! All right, tell you there. Now let's talk about the Google event, and yeah, let's talk about the Pixel mainly. But yeah, this other thing here, this um, what's it called? This Google Screen thing, Google Hub, Google Hub. That looks good. That looks good. I think that's a very good product. It'll be very good for me, you know, as a photo frame for cooking. You know, listening to stuff while I'm cooking. You know, watching stuff. Yeah, I think that's good. Chromecast. You know what a Chromecast is, and look at this. <laughs> A $600 Chromebook tablet. Just what the world needs. Another friggin' tablet. Yeah, you know what you can do with your $600 Chrome tablet. And I, I know people love Chromebooks. I do like you can use it sort of as a desktop device. But um, I hate Chromebooks. People ask me to review Chromebooks. And I'm like, you know what you can do with your friggin' Chromebook. Because I had one. And yeah, it's got great battery life and secure and whatever. But friggin' hell. You try and do something on it. Other than, you know just watching videos or email or web surfing, they're freaking useless. So anyway, let's talk about the big one, the phone, the phone, the Pixel. And I think it's got a few problems, three problems to be precise. One, the price, two, the notch, and three, the battery. One, the price. It's not worth the price when you consider that the other ones, the build quality, like the Samsung Note 9 and the iPhone XS, like they're on another level compared to this in terms of build quality. They do look good at the back. I will admit that. So if you go to the back of them, they look friggin' awesome. But um, when you look at them at the front, from the front, they look like they got Bill Barry Bob from the bottom of the class of the design class to design the front with this sort of like bucket or like what is it, bathtub bloody hub there. So friggin' big. I don't know why, ever since they've had Nexus phones, the battery life has always been pretty poor, except for the Nexus 6 or the Nexus 6P. No, no, the Nexus 6P wasn't that good either. Like, all the Nexus phones have had bad battery life, and it continued with the Pixels. They had okay battery life. The last generation Pixel 2 had okay battery life. I did review them, and I did like the phone, and the camera's just out of this world, but the battery life always sucks. One th killer thing is all Always the camera the camera is killer although I think the p20 was better than the pixel 2 I reviewed both of them so I still think the p20 had a better uh, camera but um let's have a look at this tech specs like if we just have a look at battery size none of these pixels ever had good battery life I mean there's you know phones now with 4,000 milliamp hour batteries and what 3,400 for the big one and 2,900 for the small one uh, that's too small a lot of people say the 845 and the battery savings you get from Android Pie, it's going to make it have good battery life. No, it's not. Once you have the screen on, all that goes out the window. So that's just too small. This needs to be 3,800. This one, this one needs to be 3,200. It's just way too small. The battery life is going to be a, probably a deal breaker for me, especially when you light up that screen. I don't care 4 gigs, 6 gigs. 4 gigs is plenty because we know Android will run nice and smooth on this. Although there was some people complaining that the last Pixel 2 was slowing down after a while, which you don't see with iPhones. It's, I don't know why, but um, a lot of iPhone 6s just sprang to life once iOS 12 come out. They just got faster. But you see with Android phones, a lot of them slow down over time. You know what I mean? Now, to be fair, there are some dog slow old iPhones, but they're really old. Like definitely one of the newer iPhones will not slow down. So I want to know what you guys think. Do you think this is worth the price? Like seriously, the price is like insane. If we have a look at the price. $8.99, $7.99. We're talking pretty much the same price as the iPhone XR, and the iPhone XR is better build quality, better resale value, and these things don't really sell that much. I guess they have to make a high margin to make them worth producing, but um, that is way too expensive for this. I mean, you're probably better off going with a OnePlus, except, you know, you're not going to get the software updates as quick as this, and the camera's not going to be as good. So the camera is the killer feature. 
it's going to be one of the best cameras out there there's so many good things to deal with the camera but overall those three problems the battery size the notch and the price is too pricey when you consider what you get and what you can buy around that sort of price I mean the iPhone is better value than this I mean the iPhone might start at a thousand dollars but you know in six months time 12 months time if you sell it or even if you sell it in two years time it's going to be worth a lot more than this phone will ever be like after six months this phone will drop in price I mean it won't be too long until the Snapdragon whatever comes out it's only a few months and the hardware is going to be out of date that is what it is it's going to have the best software experience one of the best cameras and the displays are good on this I've actually listened to a podcast where a guy's had hands on and he reckons the displays are really good on this so let me know what you guys think of this they could have done better for the price i'd expect something better than this i would expect it to look a lot better from the back it looks fine from the side it looks fine but at the front they both have got huge you know foreheads and chins you got a big notch you got you know big chin down the bottom let me know what you guys think catch you in the next one telly oh